It's a city that endured one of the most devastating natural disasters in the history of our country. Yet today, it's ready for you. I'm Eric Hastings, and it's time to eat, drink, and be merry in New Orleans. Depending upon how your night went, you might want to start your day early or end that long night of yours right here at Cafe Du Monde. Locals have been coming to this Decatur Street Cafe for over 100 years, and they come for two items, the beignet and the cafe au lait. And they're open 24 hours. Very convenient. Here's an insider tip. You have to have the debris sandwich at a place called Mother's. You'll have to wait in line, but it's worth it. And you can't come to New Orleans without having a world-famous breakfast at a place called Brennan's. Let's go inside. This is a meal that cannot be rushed. Just take in a deep breath and start your day with the relaxing experience that Brennan's is famous for. Did I mention Brennan's invented Bananas Foster? Awesome. As the sun bears down and the humidity makes my hair fluffy, it must be time for lunch. And that can only mean one thing, muffalata. This sandwich is amazing. I think it's the olive salad that really makes the whole thing. But there's only one other sandwich you have to have in New Orleans. It's called a shrimp po' boy. It's an original to Johnny's po' boy here. And you're Johnny. This is Johnny. He actually works here. You can ask for him. Here, Johnny's po' boy on Decatur and St. Louis. Can I eat it? Absolutely. Is it? I, I want it. Yeah, I want it. Yeah, come on. Can I do it? Yeah, I can do it. Don't think I can't, sir. Can he finish it? <laughs> Those of you who need home-style southern cuisine, or as I like to call it, soul food, be sure to take in a meal at the Praline Connection. If you're looking for another unique New Orleans experience, hop aboard the Steamboat Natchez. You'll have a great meal, a two-hour cruise on the Mississippi, and some traditional jazz. I think I see Mark Twain. Nope, just a cloud. I know you're probably full, but it's time to talk about dinner later on. If you want to stay inside the quarter, you can have dinner right here at Mr. B's. That's, that's where, we're, where gonna... we're going. Oh, that's where we're going to. Let's go inside. Come on, girls. We're going in. Here we go. This French bistro features a comfortable atmosphere and a soothing piano every night. Be sure to order the barbecue shrimp or the spring rolls. Both are amazing. For those of you that brought a jacket, you definitely have to try Galatoire's. This place is world famous for its seafood, and when you come and visit, you'll see what I mean. I can't eat all this food, but well, I can try. I can try to eat it. New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz. It's the home to Mardi Gras and Bourbon Street. You'll find jazz clubs, dance clubs, dive bars, you name it, both inside and outside the quarter. We're starting our night at the legendary Preservation Hall. Other places you might want to hit include Tipitina's, Pat O'Brien's, and Snug Harbor Jazz Bistro. Yes, I know it's a bowling alley, but if you want to go where the locals go here in New Orleans, you have to come to Rock and Bowl. Why? Because it's rocking. Oh, and be sure to have a nightcap at the Carousel Bar in the Monteleone Hotel. So, what did we learn? We learned that the spirit of New Orleans is stronger than ever, and the residents are going to welcome you with open arms. I'm Eric Hastings, and that's what I got. We're from Texas. I love Haven't Texas. Been here in 11 years, had to come back. Yeah? Is this the best shrimp po' boy you've ever had in your whole life? What makes it the best? It's so good. Is it that good? Yeah. Did, did, would you say a sandwich could... Bite? Yeah, let me have a bite of that. He has an oyster. Oh, my God. I love it. It's delicious. Thank you.